What is going on everybody? Hockey Fire 13 here. Welcome back to another video. I know I haven't uploaded in like a week. I've been trying to do like I've been trying to work on a lot of things. Like there was a couple of movies that I watched. I never ended up going to see Knives Out, which was what I said I was gonna do, but I just never ended up going to the movie theater. Um I watched Uncut Gems and I watched Marriage Story like the day or the day after it came out, but I never ended up reviewing it because I felt like it wouldn't really have mattered because the movie was kinda already out and Uncut Gems I feel like I will review. I am probably going to review Uncut Gems because I feel like it's a movie that's out right now and a lot of people are talking about it, so I feel like I should probably review it. But, um, uh, yeah, th as far as this movie pickup goes, this is uh, all new releases, four titles, two of the releases are like some new releases that came out a while ago, and um, some new releases that literally just came out yesterday. So, um, yeah. Um, we're going to get started with the first one. This is uh, It Chapter 2. Um, I liked it chapter two, you know, I, I really thought that, you know, I saw a lot of people give it flack and I, I didn't really understand it because I thought the first one was more of a horror film, but this one had better comedy, it had better actors, it had better, you know, just, I don't know, I just thought that this one was a little bit in ways, it was better than the first one, but as far as like a horror movie, the first one's definitely better. I don't know, I definitely need to rewatch them both. Um, uh, but, um. Yeah, like I said, I really enjoyed it. Chapter 2. I can't remember if I did a movie review for it or not because I reviewed a lot of movies this year. So, um, go on uh, my, movie, my Movie Reviews 2019 playlist to see if I review it to get my full in-depth thoughts there. But if, you, if I didn't review the movie, like I said, I liked the movie. I saw a lot of people hated the movie. It was too long. I saw that. But I thought it was, I mean, hey, I wouldn't mind sitting through a two and a half hour you know, movie about a clown. <laughs> that kills people, but uh, here's the digital download copy code for this. Highly recommend checking out it too if you haven't yet. Don't question my nails. I got a bunch of nail polish for my girlfriend for Christmas, and she dared me to put it on. It sounds so fake, I know, but I swear to you that this was the, that that's how it went. Okay, I swear to God. So just bear with me, okay? <laughs> uh, okay, next one up is, uh, in my personal opinion, one of the best films of the year. Um, definitely probably going to be in my top ten. This is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, like I said, I know you guys know that I have a Once Upon a Time in Hollywood poster, and uh, that shows how much I love the movie. I honestly I saw so many people say that, like, not I didn't see so many people say that the movie was bad or anything, but I saw a lot of people say, like, is it Tarantino's most rewatchable movie? No, and it's just like, in my opinion... This is like in probably my top three most rewatchable Tarantino movies, in my opinion, because I know I've only seen the movie once, but ever since then, I've been wanting, I've been itching to watch this movie again, and I just haven't been able to, so now I am. And like I said, I love this movie, like, I love almost everything about it. I think it's hilarious, I think it's just, um, <laughs> just, the way they depict the Manson murders, I absolutely love, like, just that final scene is probably, like, some of the most brutal stuff we've ever seen in a Tarantino movie besides Kill Bill. And, um, yeah, I also love how, um, I had to put the 4K in front of the Blu-ray, um, but, uh, I love how, like, the discs look like film stock. But, um, yeah, like I said, guys, if you guys want my full in-depth reviews on this movie, uh, just go watch my review for it in my movie reviews 2019 playlist, like I said. And um, you can see my full in-depth thoughts there. But like I said, I love Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I think it's a fantastic movie. Um, I love the characters. I love the camaraderie. I love the comedy in this movie. It's so funny. And just, like I said, the way they depict the Manson murders is absolutely incredible. And I also really love this slipcover. This slipcover is sexy looking. Honestly, this is probably poster of the year, in my opinion. Like, I have the poster, and I just love this poster so much. Like, I... And I love that I get to look at it every day. Okay. Next one up. We're going from really good to really fucking bad, but amazing. Okay, so this came out yesterday, and I actually had no idea because the two other movies that I'm about to show, besides this one that I'm holding in my hand, I knew were coming out, and I knew we're going to get. But when I was at Walmart and I saw this movie that I'm about to show you guys for $12, I was like, I need to fucking get it. This is The Fanatic, starring John Travolta, directed by Fred Durst. This is the best fucking movie ever made. Okay, no, I'm joking. This is one of the worst movies ever made, but this movie is fucking fantastic. I'm sorry. This movie, like, I saw so many reviews when this movie came out that it was absolute garbage, but it was amazing. And then I saw Chris Stuckman's review for it, and I was like, hmm. If it's anything like 
one of those movies that you gotta watch and you know that is bad, but it's still fucking awesome, then I'm all in for it. So I ended up watching the movie myself, and um, uh, I guess you can see that I bought it, so I had a really good time. When you have a movie, and your first, your character, when you're writing a movie, you know, when Fred Durst was writing this movie, if you don't know who Fred Durst is, he's the lead singer of Limp Biscuit. And, um, in a line in a movie, when you have your characters, uh, when your character's named Moose, you know, that's first and foremost, okay, wow. When the first line in your movie is, no time to talk, I gotta poo, it really says something about how your movie is gonna be. But there's so many things that happen in this movie that's absolutely hilarious. This is definitely John Travolta. John Travolta's in his damn prime in this fucking movie. Like, Pulp Fiction? <laughs> no. Fanatic? Best movie of all time. I honestly believe that this movie is so good, we need a criterion of it. I'm obviously joking, but literally, this shows how unbelievably bad but good this movie is. There's literally a scene in the movie where a, a kid, the because you know the movie's essentially about you know he all he wanted was an autograph from his favorite actor Hunter Dunbar and he didn't Hunter Dunbar didn't give it to him so now he starts like John Travolta's character Moose starts like following him around and shit and like there's a scene in the movie where Hunter Dunbar is like driving around in his car with his kid and he turns on the radio and he's like oh yeah you like a little limp biscuit and it's like when you're a guy who directs a movie and you put your own fucking music into the movie and you just have a guy that's like oh yeah yeah that's nice like literally i'm not joking he, he's like he's like so like fucking like he's just like it's like he's having an orgasm over hearing limp biscuit like i swear to god it's so fucking evil from fred durst then you know it's like my opinion on limp biscuit hey when chalk the starfish came out that album was a banger and, you know, it's like, yeah, you can say a lot of shit about Limp Bizkit, but they're better than a lot of fucking people, okay? But, um, as far as this movie, yeah, it fucking sucks, but it's amazing. This is one of those movies that you can put in, shut your brain off, and just watch and laugh. You know, this movie isn't a horror movie. You know, this says that by John Travolta and the tradition of stalker fans in movies such as Misery and the King of Comedy. I, I'm really surprised that this movie by Richard Cooper of the Chicago Sun-Times really just compared The Fanatic to Misery and the King of Comedy. The Fanatic. Best movie ever made. Okay, let's talk about some good movies. <laughs> Next movie up is uh, uh, the Brad Pitt's second movie that he came out with this year, which is Ad Astra. Um, I actually watched this movie fairly recently, but like just before it came out, because I didn't catch it in theaters or like any time after that, so like... You know, when I watched it, I was just like, eh, that was good. I definitely think that this would look good on 4K. So, um, at Astra, like, when I watched it, I was just like, my final thoughts on the movie was just like, if Mission Impossible took place in space, this would probably it. You know, it's like, it's not action-packed as any Mission Impossible movie, but when it does get to those action scenes... It does very feel like Mission Impossible in space. I mean, you have cars that are flipping over, exploding. You have blaster rifles that look like there's something out of Star Trek. And, yeah. Here's the uh, digital download copy code for the movie. Ad Astra. But, you know, essentially Ad Astra is about uh, Brad Pitt's character trying to go to into space because his dad, Tommy Lee Jones, was part of this thing called the Lima Project, which was a project to go out into space to find new alien life forms, and ever since then, his father never came back. And essentially, he has to, there's signs that NASA is just like, hey, we think that, you, you know, we have signs that your father might still be alive, and... So Brad Pitt agrees to go, you know, up into space and, he, you know, eventually, I don't want to spoil what happens for you, but it is a very good movie. Um, I really do. It's a very slow burn, which a lot of people have said and that is true about this movie, but it is a good movie. You know, Brad Pitt does give a really good performance. All the scenes in space, all the CG looks absolutely amazing. You know, director, um, who was this? James Gray, right? Yes. Director James Gray did a really good job in this movie and, um, yeah, it's, it's very beautiful to look at. I think it'll look very good on 4K, beside, you know, from what I saw. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, I'm really excited to check this out in 4K. Really hope it looks good. But, um, yeah, if you guys haven't seen it, I, I'd recommend checking it out. You know, it's like, it's not an amazing movie. You know, there is some amazing parts, but as a movie in total, like, it's not one of the best movies I've ever seen or anything. But it is a good watch. I wouldn't consider it a bad movie by any terms. So, um, yeah, definitely go watch it. 
Okay, the last one up is the last blood himself, Rambo. Um, I actually rewatched this before buying it because when I watched it the first time, I just, I don't know, I don't know if I fell asleep or it's just I wasn't paying attention, but I just like, if you guys go watch my Rambo Last Blood movie review, I say that I was disappointed, but at, when I rewatched the movie, I kind of had some different thoughts. Like, I was just like, okay, um, for some reason I don't remember, like, I don't remember why I thought all this negative things about the movie. Because I expected just, there is some definitely things, I, there is some negatives I have with this last Rambo movie, is that I just felt that a Rambo movie should have action. You know, all the Rambo movies are based on action set pieces and Sylvester Stallone running around killing people. And it's like, yeah, you get that in this movie with the last 20 minutes, but as a movie overall, it kind of feels like Taken 4 with Sylvester Stallone. But I'm quickly going to give away the um, digital download copy code for this because I'd recommend checking it out. But I, I really, you know, really, you know, I've come to terms with, yes, the last 20 minutes are probably the most brutal shit we've ever seen Sylvester Stallone do in any movie whatsoever. And, or any in Rambo movie or any movie whatsoever, in my opinion. Because there's really a scene in the movie where he's like, there's like two scenes that... I was just like, wow, I don't think I've ever seen that in a Sylvester Stallone movie besides the f previous Rambo to this one. There's a scene where, like, um, there's a, the first scene is, like, a scene where he's running at some guy because, you know, he built these tunnels and, you know, he's, like, he set up a bunch of traps, Home Alone style, which I love. It's, like, I've always called this the R-rated Home Alone, but, um... You know, and the, 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 uh, it's weird because I started calling this the R-rated Home Alone, and now they're making Home Stallone memes where they just have Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone but put uh, Sylvester Stallone's face on it, which looks absolutely terrifying. But um, there's literally a scene where he's like he's running at a guy, and like he just has a machete and he straight just chops off this dude head, dude's head, and, like blood splurts everywhere, and then he like carved out this like thing to where like he like lays down, grabs a machete. And, like, he just straight cuts off this dude's foot. And the dude, like, falls down and, like, just, I don't know. It's, like, it's very, this movie, the last 20 minutes of this movie is very brutal. And I love it. But I wish the last 20 minutes of this movie was the entire movie. But I am re <clears throat> I am excited to rewatch it again. Um, because, you know, like I said, I've only seen it twice. I need to watch it a third time to really get my bearings. You know, to really get my full definitely thoughts in it because this is coming from someone who's a really big fan of Rambo and who is a really big fan of Sylvester Stallone in general. I have a Rocky poster, the original Rocky. And, you know, I love Rambo. I love him so much. You know, I have every Rambo movie on 4K. Um, I love Sylvester Stallone as an actor. And, you know, people, people don't give Sylvester Stallone for his credibility in acting. It's just like, yeah, you can look at Rocky and be like, okay, yeah, he's a good actor. But look at his other movies. I mean, Copland, you know, uh, I see you, which I thought he did give a good performance in that, and a lot, not a lot of people know about that movie, but I think that's a good movie. And like I said, I like Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, he's a big action star, but I think he can be a great actor as well if you just give him the right role and the right script. But as far as Rambo: Last Blood goes, definitely there is some flaws with it. But as a movie overall, hey, is it the best you know exit Rambo could have been given? No, but hey, make do with what we got. It's a pretty good movie. Okay. So yeah, guys, that was my uh, movie pickup for this week. Um, be looking forward to some movie reviews. If you guys, uh, let me know what you guys thought of these pickups. Um, it Chapter 2, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Fanatic, Ad Astra, and Rambo Last Blood. So um, yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think of all these movies down in the comments below. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be reviewing uh, Uncut Gems, so be, look out for, be on the lookout for a movie review of that. And like I said, uh, comment down, uh, excuse me, comment down below if you guys want to see a movie review for Marriage Story, because I know that it's fairly new. It's been out for, a, not a while, it's been out for a couple of weeks, but um, if you guys want to see a movie review for it, I'm more than happy to make one. So um, comment down below, yes or no, should I review Marriage Story? So um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. I'm going to be seeing... Hopefully, I'm going to buy tickets beforehand so that it's for sure that I'm going to see it tomorrow. 
December 19th. I'm trying, I'm going to try to book tickets before they sell out in my local movie theater to go see The Rise of Skywalker. I'm very, really not excited, and I'm very scared. Well, I want to be excited, right? But I'm just petrified of what I'm going to see. Because all the leaks I've saw so far, because, like, this is coming from a guy who is not really a fan of the new Star Wars. Like, I thought The Force Awakens was okay, and I thought The Last Jedi didn't even feel like a Star Wars movie, and every time I constantly rewatch it, I, like, every time I give the movie another chance, and when I end up watching it, I end up hating it more and more. So, I'm just really just, I'm petrified. I want to be excited. I want this last Star Wars movie to be good. I will be happy with this entire, like, fucking trilogy of Star Wars films if this last movie is just good. Okay, I will forgive Last Jedi if this movie is good. But if, okay, I'm really glad that J.J. Abrams is coming back, and I feel like if he's coming back, he's going to be doing a lot of things right this time. You know, it's just like, Ryan Johnson directed, like, three great episodes of Breaking Bad. When it comes to Star Wars, oh, I have no idea how the fuck to direct and how the fuck to make a story and fucking just, they, they what they did with The Last Jedi is they put a director that isn't clearly meant for Star Wars and has no idea what the fuck he's doing. In, his, in that region, and just, they had him fuck up. It's just like, okay, you're going to have Kylo wear his mask, destroy his mask, just to put it back on in The Rise of Skywalker, and, you know, put it all, glue it back together and shit. And just, I can go on for days about what I fucking hate about The Last Jedi. But, um, yeah, like I said, I want to be excited for The Rise of Skywalker. I'm just petrified of what's going to happen. So, I, like I said, I'm going to book tickets, I'm going to watch it, and I will be reviewing it, so... Yeah, just for now, look forward to a movie review for Uncut Gems. And like I said, comment down below yes or no if you guys want me to review Marriage Story. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.